I mean, what Snowden has said is he wants to start the conversation, and he certainly has. I mean, all of what we know about the NSA started from Snowden. All of the documents that the intelligence community in the United States has declassified was because of Snowden. All these discussions in Congress, in the courts, in public are because of the Snowden documents. There was a Pew survey looking at worldwide reactions to Snowden and running the numbers, I calculated that 700 million people on this planet have changed their behavior because of the Snowden documents of the NSA's activities. Now, maybe they didn't really change their behavior very much, maybe it wasn't effective, but I can't think of another issue that changed the behavior of 700 million people on this planet. The conversation he started was extraordinary. And yes, I think it's a long and complicated conversation. I'm not convinced we're gonna figure it out this year or even next year or the year after, but we're starting to have it, and it's a, something we do have to figure out. It's impossible that the democratic experiment is over and we're now gonna live in totalitarianism and mass surveillance is the norm. That's not gonna wait this that's not gonna be the way this comes out. But it's gonna take us a while to figure it out. All of us in the, in the security community knew the NSA did this sort of stuff. You watch any movie with an NSA villain, this is exactly the sort of thing they're doing. I mean, what he did is confirm it in a way that brought the conversation to the mainstream. Right? No longer do I sound like a weird paranoid when I talk about what the NSA is doing. Now I sound normal and well-informed. And that turned out to be a crucial difference. It's one thing to know technically, it's another thing to see the documents, to see the code names, to see the budgets, to see what's happening. It, in some ways, the biggest surprise to the NSA documents is that there were no surprises in the NSA documents.